This question asks us to determine the mole fraction for air, which is modeled as a mixture in the following molar ratios. So there's the molar ratio of air. Now the first step here is to identify each of these gases as an individual component. Remember, all we're doing in mixtures is actually analyzing each component as if it's standalone. So we want to identify our components within this mixture. So let's define component one as the oxygen and component two as nitrogen. Now to be in balance for every one mole, kilogram, kilomole, or whatever the basis of the measurement is of oxygen, we must have 3.76 moles or kilograms or kilomoles of nitrogen. Which means that the total moles for this particular mixture is 1 plus 3.76 or 4.76 moles. Now recall from a, uh, a few slides ago that the mole fraction is the individual moles of whatever component divided by the total moles of the mixture. Now with the total moles being 4.76, that's the N within that formula right there. We just need to take the moles for each individual component and plug them in. So starting with our first component, which is oxygen, we get 1 divided by 4.76 for a mass fraction of 0.21. Remember, this is a dimensionless number here. Now working our second component, nitrogen, we get 3.76 divided by 4.76 for a mass fraction of 0.79. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. How can we be for sure that these mole fractions are correct? What, what would be a good check? Our rule is that all the components within the mixture, their mole fractions will always add up to one. So we have 0.21 plus 0.79, that equals one, which fulfills our rule for mole fractions. And so everything looks like it's checking out.